Well, another superstar that has taken an interest in Detroit's youth and their education is longtime NBA standout and Fab Five alum Jalen Rose, and he's a lightning rod behind a new charter school, the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy. He joins us this morning to talk about it. Thanks for being here, man. Pleasure to have you Thanks here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate that. You know, there are a lot of guys who, when their pro career is over, they just ride off into the sunset and say, thanks for the career. You never hear from me again. What was it about this whole program and being involved in Detroit that said, you know what, I got to do something? There's a saying, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you're getting. And Detroit students in particular, they're in a crisis. Four years from now, eight years from now, when they go to put their resume on the desk, mm -hmm. they need to have some accomplishments there. They're going to compete with the children in India, the Philippines, internationally. We have a global economy. Those students, they go to school around 240 days a year. In DPS, our students go to school 176 days per year. At JRLA, our students are going to go 215 days a year, nine Saturdays. Whoa. That's right. Go. One Saturday per <laughs> month. We're up in the ante because that's what we need to compete in the global international economy. And Jill, I want to ask you because in the Detroit community, there has been a resistance to charter schools. Do you think it makes a difference by the name that's associated to this one? Not at all. I was a DPS student. I know about private schools. I know about charter schools. What about just having quality schools? Exactly. You know, I see adults all of the time arguing about the type of school. We have some great private schools in the suburbs that are high-performing, excellent schools, schools like University of Lincoln and Country Day. But they're not in the inner city. And our kids, unfortunately, can't pay fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 per year to go to those schools. We need high-performing schools in the inner city. And that's what I'm trying to establish. Now, it opens up in September, and the cool thing is that you're still, the application process is still available, I think, until May 31st. Yes, it is. So is there any particular criteria? How do you decide who gets in? Tuition free. Kids will be chosen via lottery. Go to JRLA Detroit for more info. But it's open for everyone. All eighth graders are able to apply. We understand that there's 120 slots, but we're very excited about trying to do what we can to help change the landscape here in Detroit. It's one thing to get the students in there. Where are you going to get the teachers from and their qualifications? Well, there are a lot of teachers out there that have done a great job with students, administrators, even parents and students. But also, we have the opposite side of the coin as well. So it's a very tough process in trying to scrutinize the best of the best. The leaders of tomorrow, they help engage our students. Low student-teacher ratios at our school, JRLA, 20 to 1. That's fantastic. For the most part, 10 to 1 in English and math. I hear come fall, there are going to be some DPS schools. They have 50 to 1 teacher to student ratios, and that's absurd. That's absurd. All right, I got to talk some basketball with you. Okay, let's the do that. The Fab Five documentary was just outstanding. <laughs> and I'm not going to get into all the controversy, but I'm going to just end it with this in terms of that by saying that you and Grant Hill had a chat. You hashed over the remarks that were made. You had, it talked about, and Grant understood that you were a young guy when you made some comments, and that it's all under the bridge now. The way Grant Hill was raised? Right. It's how I want to raise my family. Right. It's how I'm trying to create young men and young women at JRLA to raise their families. So for anyone to think I feel that way right now, they're ignorant. It's like me and you going to watch a movie right now, and when we leave out of the movie, someone says, what do you think about the movie? Ask me, what do I think? And we say two totally different things. Right. So that was taken out of context. Me and Grant has ironed it out. 99.9% .9 of the people, they love the documentary. Right. And for the people that didn't, for example, Grant, in this case, we were able to iron that out. Outstanding stuff. Okay, of course.